which I think is a better name for it. Maybe not, I don't know. Hi guys, what's up? This is Mac from the Wi-Fi Ninjas and today I wanted to show you how to configure RVI Rooted Virtual Interface, which is an equivalent to Cisco SVI Switched Virtual Interface on a Juniper Switch. So let's take a look at my lab first. This is what I have, a flat network. Everything sits in VLAN 1, very, very simple network. Uh, I will be connecting anything like I will connect just an access point, random one, to port 001, since it is unused. Uh, you need to have a port physically up for the RVI to come up as well. So there are a few requirements for the rooted virtual interface to come up. First, port must be physically up. Uh, link must be up. Uh, there must be a VLAN that exists on the switch, and the VLAN must be assigned to a port that is up. Okay, if you don't hit any of these requirements, then your SVI, RVI will stay down. So let's just quickly discuss what do we need the RVIs for? So let's try to think of a scenario where maybe you don't have a flat network. You want to have guests in VLAN 20 and users in VLAN 21, and then you have some IoT in VLAN 50. Where do you do layer three switching between these VLANs? And the answer is, if you have a capable switch, you really want to do it on a switch because it's just fastest, right? It's hardware switching and you just want to do it there. So you would need to create this free VLANs 20, 21 and 50 or whatever it is. And then each VLAN will have, uh, will have a layer free interface, RVI, representing it with an IP address. So the switch can do switching between this logical networks, subnets living on the switch, okay? And then the RVI interface would be a gateway to your network devices, of course. Okay, uh, so let's go back to my computer and connect to the switch. This is my missed dashboard. I have no idea what my switch IP is, so I will go to switches. It's managed by missed dashboard. So if you don't know how to do that, go back to our previous videos about missed managed Juniper switches. I can see that the switch is 192.168.11. So I will go to my terminal and I will connect to that SSH root at 192.168.11, I think it was. There we go. My very secret password and we're in CLI and we are in there nicely. So first of all, let's take a look at what we have configured on the switch. So I will just go quick uh, through quick show config. And there are just missed some missed uh, groups uh, pushed down from a missed is a missed managed switch, like a top group, not sure what it is. It's just like a okay, uh, okay, some some stuff for for the ports, uh, enabling POE and stuff. Uh, applying group system, whatever, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. So there is pretty much nothing that I have configured for that switch. It's pretty much out of the box state of the switch. No groups are uh, applied to the interfaces. It's it's all standard slash default. Okay, I have just one VLAN one, and that's that's all I have. I don't have anything else. When I go back to my dashboard and just scroll down, I can see that from the network's perspective, which is a you know VLAN, there is nothing. Port profiles, just a standard port profiles uh, predefined on a Juniper switch managed by Miss Dashboard. And nothing, nothing, nothing. And port profiles unassigned, which means all ports, they sit in a default network, default VLAN one. And I have no additional CLI commands. And that's what was reflected in, uh, in my uh, terminal. Okay, so let's say that our goal today is to create VLAN 666 that is represented by an IP address of 10.10.10.10. .10 .10 .10. And make sure that it's up. Okay, so what do we have to start with? 
we have to start with creating a VLAN. So we will create a network, we'll call it Wi-Fi Ninjas, uh, test VLAN, okay? And we will give it an ID of VLAN 666. I hit my thing and port profiles. I will want some of my ports, like one test port, to be an access port sitting in VLAN 666, okay? Remember, so the VLAN must exist and the port with this VLAN on either trunk or access port must be up. So let's do that. A name of the profile, Wi-Fi Ninjas test profile, okay? Enabled access and it will be in freshly created Wi-Fi Ninjas test VLAN. Everything else on default, I apply that. And finally, I want to apply that profile, test profile, so it's access in 666 to one of my ports, which will be GE001. This is an unused port as we've checked on my diagram before. So I will connect my access point random one there. Done. And I will just save this config so the configuration is pushed down to the switch from the missed dashboard. Let's give it a sec and check if it was indeed pushed down. Okay, I think it was long enough. Uh, let's take a look at my VLANs. Still nothing. Okay, I waited for about a minute now. Let's take a look if we have this config pushed down. Still nothing, uh, but I can say commit confirmed will be rolled back in 10 minutes. Remember, missed dashboard uses commit check type of commit of configuration to the switch. So it has committed the changes, created the VLANs, you know, port profiles, applied it to the ports and so on. And then it will have to confirm the switch will have to you know talk back to the cloud say okay i'm still alive and that's that's how it will okay i've waited for about a minute uh, let's take a look if miss dashboard has pushed down the config so let's uh, check my vlans first and you can see that I have my Wi-Fi Ninjas test VLAN 666 applied to the interface G001. Okay, uh, let's show interfaces terse. Uh, so this is just an overview of what I have configured on the switch. So we can see uh, that my uh, 001 port is up because I have the, uh, the access point connected to it. Uh, so I would expect it to be up. Mm, I have just one port with an IP address, 192.168.1.1. That's what I'm connected to uh, over SSH. And there is pretty much nothing else. Okay. Uh, so now let's take a look at what groups are configured on the switch. Show config. And let's start with find groups. Okay. So this will display groups first in my output. Okay, and I can see some missed created groups. And I can see Wi-Fi Ninjas test profile, interfaces, unit one, family, internet switching, VLAN members, Wi-Fi Ninjas test VLAN. So it has created the group. Let's continue scrolling down. And when we get to the interfaces, we can see that this group has been indeed applied to the interface GE001 which is exactly what we want, okay? So we have a VLAN, we have a group, and we have applied this group, which puts port GE001 to VLAN access port VLAN 666. What I need now is I have to create an IRB, which stands for Integrated Routing and Bridging Port, also called RVI, which I think is a better name for it. Maybe not, I don't know. 
which is an equivalent to Cisco SVI. So let's do that. And once I have my virtual port with an IP address, I will have to uh, to stitch it together with a VLAN. So let's see how it's being done. I'm going back to my missed dashboard, switch config, switch config. I'm looking at the options in a missed dash and I can't see anything and that will allow me to, to do that, okay? So in a missed dash, you can configure basics layer two, you know, uh, DHCP, uh, DNS, NTP, not even sure that you can do DNS, but NTP, uh, very simple, simple things. So everything else must be added via additional CLI commands. And we have covered that in our previous videos about how to do it, how to, you know, check it, how to, to do some rollbacks and, and stuff. So check back our previous videos if you are interested in that. But for here, we will do uh, set interfaces, okay? So if you configure something, it's always done using set command, okay? So set interfaces, IRB unit 666 family init address, and then let's make it 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10. Okay. Actually, let's scratch that. Okay. So now what we need to do is we have to create an RVI uh, with an IP address of our choice. It, this example, it will be 10.10.10.10. And finally, we will have to apply it to, uh, well, actually. Okay, so next we need to create our SVI, RVI, IRB, whatever you call that, call that. And we will assign IP address of 10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.10.
putting them down to the switch. Okay, I will go. Uh, I will go out of the loop, break the loop by hitting Control C. I will go to configure mode, and now I will paste my commands. So I pasted two commands, and the switch have the switch has taken them in, which is a good sign. So now what I will do, I will double check that the switch, you know, gets them. Uh, so I will show and compare to rollback zero. So when I do commit, this would the switch will uh, add my IRB interface ten 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 ten, and yeah, and it will stitch it together with VLAN six six six. Amazing. So I don't want to apply it through the CLI. I want to do it through a dashboard. So I will roll back these changes, roll back zero. So nothing is pending on the switch and I will indeed hit save in a dashboard. So the switch should be configured by missed dashboard. I will give it another minute and let's see what happens. Actually, I've given it 20 seconds to see if it's fast enough to push down the configuration. So let's take a look. Exit from this view. Ooh, it's thinking. It's still thinking. Okay, so Miss Dashboard is doing its, its magic now. It's probably committing change. Configuration have been changed out, but not committed. Exiting configuration mode. Uh, does it mean that I've interrupted Miss Dashboard? Let's take a look. And show interfaces test. Still thinking. Oh, there we go. I have IRB 666 up and up in it 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. And that's it. So it is up and running, okay? So in this video, we have shown you how to configure RVI, SVI, IRB, a virtual layer free interface on a Juniper switch using MIST dashboard and validate this configuration uh, using CLI, making sure that whatever we put in additional CLI commands is indeed going to work. Thanks.